Hi there, in the following video I'm going to answer question 6 of the June 2007 Call 4 OCR paper. Um, this is my first uh, series of videos on implicit differentiation. OK, the question tells us we've got this curve and it's defined implicitly. That means x's and y's are together, y is not the subject of this formula. It wants the equation of the normal at the point 2,3 in a specific form, ax plus by plus c is zero. We've got eight marks for this question. Okay, now clearly, if we want the equation of the normal, we want the gradient of the normal. To do that, we could find the gradient of the tangent at this point by finding dy by dx of this curve. So in order to find dy by dx of this curve, I'm going to differentiate uh, I'm going to differentiate the curve with respect to x. So I'm going to set out my working in a quite neat way at the moment because it, with a bit of practice you may be able to do this in one go but I'm going to do it step by step. So I'm differentiating every single term of this curve. So I'm going to differentiate x squared and that gets me 2x. Okay. I'm then going to differentiate 3xy. Okay, now the differential of 3xy, see, I might just move this over a little bit here. The differential of 3xy, well, you can think of this as trying to apply the product rule where 3x is u, let's say, and y is v. So this would be, by the product rule, it, it would be uv dash plus vu dash, okay? So let's try and do that. So it's going to be uh, u, which is 3x, and then it's going to be the differential of y, okay? And then it's going to be plus uh, v, which is y, and the differential of u, which is 3x. Okay, now I'm just going to do a line underneath here. If I differentiate y with respect to x, I get dy by dx, right? So this is equal to 3x dy by dx. And I've got y, uh, lots of the difference of 3x, which is just 3. So y times 3, which is just 3y. Okay, so that's that differentiated and that differentiated. Now I'm going to differentiate. 4y squared. Okay, now how I differentiate 4y squared with respect to x? What I do is I differentiate it with respect to y because I can do that easily and post multiply by dy by dx. You can sort of think of the dy's cancelling here and you just have a d by dx uh, of 4y squared. Okay, well, what's the answer to this? Well, if I differentiate uh, this with respect to y, I get 8y dy by dx. So this is 8y dy by dx. And lastly, I differentiate 58. Well, if I differentiate with respect to x a number, I just get 0. Okay, now let's combine this. I've dif I'm differentiating both sides and uh, keeping the equation. So I'm going to get 2x, the differential of that, plus... 3x dy by dx plus 3y. And the differential of that is 8y dy by dx. So 8y dy by dx. Um, and that's equal to 0. Okay. Now at this point, I'm going to factorize out dy by dx from these two terms here. So I'm going to consider this term and this term. Okay. I'm going to factor out dy by dx. Uh, and I've got 3x of them plus 8y of them. Okay, and I've got plus 2x plus 3y equals 0. Now, it, at this point, I'm just going to take this onto the next page. I want to work out the gradient of the normal at the point 2, 3. So what I might do at this very point here, I might put in x is 2 
on y is 3 right here. So that dy by dx, okay, 3 times 2 is 6, 8 times 3 is 24, so 6 plus 24 is 30, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, so 4 plus 9 is 13, equals 0. So solving for dy by dx, dy by dx is minus 13 over 30, and that is the gradient of the tangent. So the gradient of the normal is uh, minus 1 over the gradient of the tangent, so therefore the gradient of normal is minus 1 over minus 13 over 30, which turns out to be 30 over 13. And now I can use uh, the equation of a straight line uh, in order to work out the uh, equation of the normal. So I'm going to use the, the equation of a straight line y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. And we know uh, that the normal goes through 2, 3. So we're going to say y minus 3 is 30 over 13 uh, x minus 2. I'm going to multiply everything by this 13 to remove it. So I'm going to get 13y minus 39 is equal to, and then multiply these two terms by the 30, 30x minus 60. And the question asks us uh, in the form ax plus by plus c is 0. So I'm going to make this side 0. I'm going to say that's 30x subtract 13y and minus 60 um, plus 39 is minus 21. And hence, we have found our equation of the normal with a is 30, uh, b is minus 13, and c is minus 21. I hope you found the following useful in your revision of implicit differentiation for core 4. Thanks for listening.